2009 through 2015 Toyota Prius Accelerator Pedal Replacement. I'm Brian Nesser from How To Automotive. I'm going to walk you step by step to the process of changing out the accelerator pedal. So stay tuned for that. We're going to be installing a factory replacement accelerator pedal. I will link this up in the description of the video. That way if you need to pick it up you can find those links there. In this video, it's not a diagnostic video, but I thought I would share some diagnostic tips for you just in case you want to try to figure this out yourself. Most people are not going to have the tools to diagnose this. It requires a scan tool such as you see here. And some of the other tools would be a scan tool or a lab scope to uh, check them out. So my first tip for you is when you're checking out throttle bodies and throttle accelerator pedals is to clear the check engine light because the scan tools will substitute value so the car can keep driving. So I thought I would briefly discuss how they work. That way, if you have the ability and the test equipment to test it, you could test it for yourself. So the way throttle bodies and throttle pedals work is they have basically two sensors. Uh, so you got a ground, a reference voltage, and a signal. And that is going to be the same thing for their both si both uh, sensors on the throttle body and on the on the pedal here, or accelerator pedal and the throttle body here. So the way it works is is a uh, so they have two sensors built in there so they can double check each other. That way if one fails, they can rely on the other. So the way they work is on one sensor, the voltage is gonna go from, on this particular one, it uses a five volt reference and it goes from zero up to five volts. And then the opposite sensor, it works in the reverse. So it'll go from, from five volts back down to zero. So as you mash the pedal here, these voltages will drop and one will go downwards and one will go upwards. And so these have to mirror each other. And if one is reading off or faster than the other, what it does is it compares the readings to what it's on the throttle body. So you'll have two readings here and two readings here. If one reading is reading off on the throttle body or on the, on the pedal here, it'll set a code for the pedal. If one of the readings is reading off for the, the throttle body, it'll set a code for the throttle body. So it had both the two sensors on the throttle body have to mirror each other and the two sensors on the throttle pedal have to mirror each other. Like I said, one the voltage is going up, one the voltage is going down. It's kind of like a, it works similar to a, a float in a gas gauge. So to test them, the best way I found to do it is use a, a scope like this. One, you're going to test the uh, 5 volt reference going in. That's coming from the computer and you're going to test the ground going to it. Once you determine that's good, now you're going to test the signal wire coming out of the, uh, out of the pedal. So as you move the, uh, the pedal through, it has a potentiometer in there that changes the resistance, which will change the reference or, or the signal voltage going back to the PCM. And it's going to be the same thing on the opposite side. So you'll, you'll have the similar readings, one going up, one going down. So you, you can see this data sometimes. You can see this data on scan tools. But like I said, sometimes the scan tool data is too slow. The update uh, uh, rate is really slow on scan tools. So the car can, or the PCM can also substitute values or what they put it in what they call a pre-programmed limp mode. So the data you see on the scan tool is not going to be the actual data that, that's actually at the uh, throttle pedal or at the throttle body. So the best way to test them is with a, a scope like this. So the PCM is going to look at all four of the signals and if one of the signals is out of whack, it'll set the code for it most common code for the accelerator pedal is P1121. To remove the accelerator pedal, you're gonna need a deep 10 millimeter socket, about a four inch extension and a universal joint such as this one here. So we're gonna leave the accelerator pedal plugged in and we're gonna remove the two fasteners and then unplug it. The bottom one is pretty easy to get to right here. You just take that off. So to get to the top bolt, you're going to need that deep 10 millimeter socket, the universal joint, and the extension like this. And you're going to feed it in just over the top of the accelerator pedal like this. You can actually look up there and see uh, what you're doing, but you're going to feed it in there and get onto the fastener and go ahead and back that out with your ratchet. Now that you got the two fasteners unbolted, you can pull the accelerator pedal down and squeeze the tab here and disconnect the electrical connector. Now there's enough room to get to it. With it bolted up, it's hard to get to that. Now that we've got it unbolted and removed, I'm going to show you some techniques to putting it back in. So what I like to do is take the uh, pedal here and take the top bolt, go ahead and slip it through like this, and then go ahead and feed this up into position. And then what we're going to do is start the bottom bolt first, but leave it loose 
So we're gonna start the bottom bolt here and then we'll reach over the top and we'll start the top bolt and snug the top bolt down first. So as you can see, putting that top bolt in there first and now reaching over the top to get your socket on there makes it a lot easier instead of trying to fish that bolt in there and use the socket to get in there. So go ahead and put that on the fastener and then you can wiggle the, the pedal left, right, up, down a little bit because the bottom bolt is loose to help line up the fastener and hole. And then you go ahead and tighten that up. So you'll run the top bolt down until it's snug and about a quarter turn more and then tighten the bottom bolt. And after that, you can plug the electrical connector in. So just reach up top, pull it down onto the pedal. After that, we're gonna go ahead and clear the, the codes on the car. So I will link up the accelerator pedal in the description of the video. I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, encourage you to subscribe, invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.